The movie story begins by showing a boy whose name is Adrian. He was very upset and was sitting on the floor because his girlfriend, whom he loved a lot, left him. She recorded a video message in which she said, I can't live with you, there is nothing good between us, so I want to end the relationship with you. Now Adrian gets very upset after hearing this message, because he liked him a lot. He goes to a bar where he drinks a lot. He drank as much as he should not even staying in his senses. Then a girl, whose name is Fabiana and worked in a bar, helped him to come out of the bar. Adrian can't even drive his car, so Fabiana takes him to her house. When he woke up in the morning, he goes out from home without talking to Fabiana. This seems very strange to Fabiana. She helped her at night and he didn't even thank her. But in the evening, Adrian realizes his mistake, that he should have thanked Fabiana because she helped him last night. So he goes to meet Fabiana in the bar and soon they become friends because he was alone and he also needed a friend. Within no time their friendship changes into a relationship. Now Fabiana shifts to Adrian's house. They started liking each other. One morning when Fabiana was brushing in the bathroom, she hears someone's voice from the wash basin. When she tries to listen carefully, she doesn't understand anything. When Fabiana comes down, she sees some paintings scattered on the table. When she tries to pick them up, suddenly Adrian came and said don't touch all these things. In the meantime, the doorbell rings. There were two police officers outside. They wanted to investigate about Adrian's first girlfriend that was missing for two days. Those officers suspected Adrian that he might have killed him and hidden him in the house. But Adrian now shows them his video message in which she confessed to ending the relationship. One of the officers is Fabiana's friend. He questioned, are you okay living with this man? Then he told her that his old friend was missing. It's only been two days and you are in a relationship with him. Although Adrian likes him a lot, you should stay away from this man. I don't feel him good. Fabiana also started thinking after hearing all this, but she had greed in her heart. She wanted a rich, handsome, beautiful boy like Adrian, with whom she lived and spent her whole life. So whatever he says, she decides to stay with Adrian. Now a few days pass like this. Some strange things are happening with Fabiana in Adrian's house. One day, when she was taking a bath, hot water started coming out of the shower. Due to this she burned. When she was sitting in the bathtub suddenly the water started vibrating. Now she was even more scared of this. She started feeling that there was a ghost in Adrian's house. When she tells Adrian about this he does not believe her. He says that there is nothing like this in my house. One day, Fabiana found a key in a chain from her house, which she wears around her neck. She wears it as a locket. She was feeling very good. Then suddenly the light of the house turns off. Fabiana was feeling someone's presence on the floor. Then something attacks on her. After a while, Adrian also came. He picks up Fabiana and gives her water. Now she was even more scared. Adrian says, don't be afraid. The one that attacked you is not a human. He is my dog who lives here. That's why you don't need to be afraid. The next day, Adrian gets a call from a police officer. They say that we have found a dead body and we suspect that it may be your friend's body. That's why you have to come and check it. Now, when they both go to see, then Adrian sees that dead body and says, no, this is not my friend's dead body, which Fabiana was a little scared and gets angry. Adrian was also understanding what was in his heart. He says, look, you don't you worry. If this happens, whether my friend is alive or back, she will not come back into my life. Now I can't look back. You will always be in my life. Hearing this, Fabiana became happy. They both stand in front of a mirror. It was a mirror from the outside. But there was a girl inside. His condition was very bad. She was looking at these two. She was Adrian's first friend who had also sent a video message to Adrian. But now she was trapped in Adrian's house. She is locked in a room across the mirror. The mirror was visible from the outside, but from inside, it is transparent. 
where Adrian's friend was standing and watching her. But no one could see from the outside. From inside, everything in the house will be visible. But a person standing outside cannot see inside. The story flashes back from here. It is shown how did this girl get stuck here, his friend, whose name is Bellin. He was very happy with him. Adrian has an orchestra in this city, which controls the music with the gestures of the hands. He got a job in a music band. That's why he shifted to this house with Bellin. They both were living happily. Adrian's habit was to be free from every girl. Bellin sees him with a girl. After that, she started doubting her. One day, a lady came who was the owner of his house. Bellin tells that lady that Adrian broke my trust. Although I love her very much, but I didn't feel good when he was with someone else. The lady says, I have a solution for this. You can test your love. Come with me. I'll show you something. She puts a key on the side cupboard, and then a door opens, behind which there was a secret room. Its condition was not good, but for a person. All the facilities were available there. That lady says that my husband was in the army. So that's why he made a secret room for herself. So, if you want to test Adrian's love, then you can end your relationship with him and stay in this room for two or three days. This will help to know whether your love is true or not. How much does he care about you? Bellin likes this idea very much. She now packs all her luggage and records a video message for Adrian that I am leaving you. She came and locked herself in this room but after a while, Bellin remembers that she doesn't have the key with which this door opens. It was left outside. Bellin became afraid. Now she wanted to call Adrian, but there was no signal on the phone. Bellin was standing from inside. She saw everything. She shouted, but neither her voice goes out and nor did he see her. The person standing outside can only see the glass. Bellin was completely stuck inside. Adrian who is sitting outside remembers her and crying. And this was the same scene, which we saw at the beginning of the story. But after a while, Adrian meets Fabiana. After seeing this, Bellin is even more sad because she thinks that Adrian loved me a lot. So how can he deceive me? She thought that after his disappearance, he would find her. But nothing happened. So the story comes back to the present time. Bellin was able to see everything from the inside. She sees Fabiana, wakes up in the morning, and goes to the bathroom to brush. Again the sound was coming from the whole of the wash basin. And here we come to know that those sounds are created by Bellin, who makes trouble for Fabiana. Because Fabiana took place of her in Adrian's life. Fabiana had taken her place. Sometimes she makes cool water, sometimes hot to annoy him. She tells Adrian that there is a ghost in your house. Why don't you understand that? But Adrian doesn't believe anything. One day when Fabiana was alone at home, she filled the water in the wash basin and said, tell me who are you? Are you a ghost? She asks another question, or is it a human? Then the water starts vibrating. We see that in the same secret room, Bellin was hitting something hard on the water pipe and the water started vibrating. Fabiana had realized this, that there is a human in this house who is trapped and sees him. Now when she goes to the room, there is Adrian's dog, who was trying to open the glass. He smells the bellin behind the glass. After seeing all this, she came to know that Adrian's friend was trapped behind this glass, and she needs help. When she checks the cupboard in the room, she finds the lock, which was opened with the same key that she wore as a locket around her neck. When she tries to put that key in the lock, she stops suddenly. His heart's greed had stopped her because she thought that he would leave him because of his first love. That's why she doesn't open the door and change his room. When Adrian comes home, he is surprised to see his room and he was a little upset. The next morning, Fabiana's police officer friend comes home, the one who had told about Adrian before. He shows her a picture of Adrian with another girl. After seeing this, Fabiana understood that Adrian is not a good man. She goes to the wash basin again and asks him again, who are you? But now there is no answer.
Fabiana was scared that Adrian's friend might have died because it had been two weeks since she disappeared. Now she slowly moves towards that cupboard and she opens the door with the key. Belen was in a very bad condition inside. She finds Belen unconscious. When she goes to her and tries to wake her up, Belen wakes up and hits something in Fabiana's head. She was unconscious there. She leaves him and comes out. Now Fabiana was locked in that room. She sticks a picture of her and Adrian in the same mirror and keeps the key on the bed in front of the mirror and leaves. When Adrian comes home, his dog gives him the key. He looks picture stuck in the mirror. Fabiana was now trapped behind that mirror where there was the Balin at first. Fabiana's greed got her trapped because of that person who never cared for anyone. Adrian was worried now because Fabiana is also missing and the police would doubt her again. At this time, maybe they would catch her. This is the suspenseful ending of this story. If you like that explanation, then motivate us by subscribing to our channel.